This is Jean Wandimi uh, reporting live for the Wine and Food Review in Germany in the Inglerheim region at Bettingheimer Winery and I'm going to take you through the process of wine testing. So the first thing you do when you want to taste wine or when you go wine tasting is pour it in a glass. All the settles at the bottom. Yeah. But then you're looking very carefully. So what do you do when you want to taste wine and why do we taste wine? First we taste wine to discover flavors, to know what we love and to discover different wines and to keep records of what we love and also to learn more about our palate. When you're starting to taste wine, obviously you must put it in the right glass. So this is the right glass for a white wine and it is very not really narrow or uh, white brimmed for the red one it's white brimmed for the red wines they are more uh, we serve them in a more white brimmed glass so that the flavors like you can get to know more about the flavors but for white wine this is good Ch serve chilled next thing you need to know is the serving temperatures each wine has its own serving temperatures for example white wines sparkling wines need to be chilled well and their specific degrees depending on where you are in the world first thing you need to do is look at your wine to see the color if there any sediments you know that that wine might not be good or maybe it was at the bottom of the bottle so yeah you need to check the color to ascertain what color it is because wines come in a whole spectrum of colors like the whole spectrum so you can see pale yellow from strawberry to green to almost clear colorless to pink to red to even violet to cherry colored all that is important for you to describe the wine and for better like not taking and wine not taking next you need to swirl it so that the wine can open up if you know the wine has been bottled for years it has been you know closed off in a bottle so you need the flavors to interact with air especially for red wine hence why it's served in a bigger glass so next you need to put your nose in but uh, open your mouth slightly that's what they say I don't know why they tell you to open your mouth slightly and that way you can register all the smells, the, your olfactory sense. You can be able to detect the wine and taste it, swirl it again and smell it. And it depends with what you're smelling. Uh, people smell different things. There's no right or wrong answer with what you smell. For me, um, when I do this, like hover your nose, you can hover your nose over the glass or just simply put it in. and. Um, you can detect different uh, types of smells from straw, from green fruits, from freshness. It depends with what kind of a wine you are tasting. Next, um, you need to also look at the sides of the glass to see whether there are any, um, you know, wine legs or wine legs are those like oily films, mostly like in red wines that you notice when you're tasting your red wines. After you've done all that, it's about time to sip and serve. So next, sip your wine about all the senses that you're registering in your mouth next uh, you take a very generous sleep and swish it around your mouth so when you go to a wine tasting you'll see people making you'll hear people making like squishy noises that are a bit uncomfortable but that's just to make sure like you go to your mouth with the wine to make sure you're getting all the senses and your senses are getting all the taste but guys that's how you taste wine so when you're next in your next wine tasting you won't be looking at people wondering what to do and that's how you taste wine and that advice if you're getting into this wine tasting journey make sure you get a journal it will help you like write down everything all the wines you're tasting from labels to taste to everything guys but this is where we are thank you so much remember to like subscribe if you have any questions about winemaking regions be sure to ask me down below but guys Cheers. Mwah.